Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be going over the all new Infinity QX50. Before getting this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Infinity here in Murray, Utah, for giving me some time with this QX50. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Cam. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 268 horsepower and then 280 pound feet of torque. Now, before you go to the front end, I do want to mention, if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, you guys can see that it's flat there in the center and it's kind of raised off on either side and it looks really cool actually. And then coming down below, you guys can see there with the daytime running lights and the LED headlamps, that looks really good. You've got the distinctive chrome trim around the grill with the Infinity logo, parking sensors there at the bottom, and then we also have fog lights as well. And putting it all together, this definitely has a cool sporty design. Coming around the side here, time wheel setup is 255, 45, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the wheel design with kind of like the gray metallic trim. It looks good. We've got these fender flares here and then notice the bodywork there on the side. Most of it's actually painted. And then you got little chrome accents throughout on like the door handles, the window trim, all that. And then taking a look at the side profile again, it still has that cool sporty design. So here's our key fob, we've got the Infinity logo there front and center. We have our remote start function, our lock function, unlock, and then the opening here for the hatch. Now popping inside, you guys can see decent storage space overall here in the rear and I love how like the carpeting itself is actually brown. You have these latches right here to throw down these seats and then underneath we got some more storage. When you're all done you can lock it or you can press that and that'll just shut it without locking it. Really cool looking taillights here on the QX50. You guys can see all of the badges and logos here on the back as well. Parking sensors there at the bottom and then look how aggressive those exhaust tips are and you actually have a receiver hitch too. And then pulling it all together, again, I do think that they've done a really good job with the design. But let me know if you like this more or if you like the QX55 more. Now here's the door panel, and this is where things get pretty wild in my opinion. So we have a sunshade here in the back. You've got leather trim at the top, and then you've got like blue suede down below that. And then you have more leather trim, but then it's like cream in color. And then you've got wood trim and silver trim. There is a lot happening, but I actually really like it. And then that cream color continues onto the seats and look at the beautiful quilted design in the center portion. Then you got the Infinity logo right there. So legroom back here is actually pretty decent. And then you guys can see a little storage pocket. We've got some vents here in the center. And then we actually have our own climate zone here in the back, heated seats and some USBs. Reclining seats and well, headroom is good. And we have a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door panel again, you've got the leather trim here with the suede, the wood trim down below, and then more leather all over. Just so many colors happening. All of our window controls here, and notice all the windows are automatic. The mirrors do power fold in. You got memory seats, cool speaker there for the Bose sound system. It's a performance series if you're wondering. And then there's a quick look at the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring. And here's the front seats. You guys can see all the stitching and then look at like the brown leather here on the side. And then again, perforated all down the center with the quilted design. And then all of our power adjustments right there. So we've got our steering assist here. This is for the parking sensors. That is your heads up display. That's the opening for the hatch, light controls. And then you guys can see here with the wood trim and then look, little suede <laughs> insert there. And then the brown leather on the dash. So here is the steering wheel, really nice leather trim all around. We do have the adaptive cruise control function there, and that's like a shortcut for the safety tech. Some controls here for the center stack, volume voice command controls as well. Paddle shifters here on the back, and then you get your turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock. So here's a gauge cluster, mostly analog, but we do have the screen here in the center, which we can scroll through a bunch of different menus to see different bits of info on the vehicle. Pretty standard stuff. Now the cool thing is with the drive modes, so you guys can see we've got a sport mode, we also have a personal mode, and then we have a standard and eco mode, and it just pops up with that little icon right there for those. So we've got a backup camera, what's your direction lines that turn with the steering wheel? 
you got that bird's eye view as well because it has a 360 camera system. So if I pop it in a park, press the camera button, you notice it gives me multiple camera views. Now this is the top screen. You guys can see that it's, well, like a navigation screen right now. And this is not a touch screen. It's controlled via a dial um, and it's pretty interesting, but you can also actually control this via a little um, button there on the steering wheel. On the left side of the steering wheel, that button that I showed you that had some controls I said was for the center stack. Well, that's for this top screen that you could basically use. So yeah, it, it, it's definitely interesting. And then of course we have the screen down below, which is actually a touch screen. So you guys can see, I can press that uh, and it'll function just like a normal touch screen. Um, really easy to use, frankly. I like that there's analog controls on either side for the climate and for the heated and cooled seats so that you don't have to dig through some menus to turn that on. And then also for like the radio stuff. So yeah, pretty happy with it. So we've got some charging ports down below with a wireless phone charging pad, some cup holders right there. And then you guys can see here with the shifter for that CVT, it's the uh, shaver shifter. I don't know what to call it. The drive mode select is right there. This is the control for the top screen. And I like the stop start button, by the way, it looks good. And then your parking brake here and then your auto hold as well. Now let's just take a moment to look at this interior. So again, the blue suede all throughout and look how like it all kind of flows together. And then like even here on the center console, which speaking of center console, by the way, it's all storage space in there. But yeah, the mix of colors and materials in here is super unique. You don't usually see something like that in this uh, particular segment. Now up top, we've got our controls for the full panoramic sunroof, and then we have a nice premium headliner as well. I don't know if it's gonna pop up on the camera very well, but it's of course, brown so yeah it kind of it kind of adds to the flare so sorry about the glare but here's our window sticker for this qx50 this is the autograph package almost everything is standard equipment um there are a few options like the wheels for example and everything and the paint color um anyways 60,790 is the total msrp on this particular one i have to like avoid running into cars anyways let's see how it drives Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you now see the heads up display. Both of the mirrors, which like I said, do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off. So setting off in the QX50 and I believe this is the first time I've ever driven a QX50 because I know I've reviewed the QX55 and the QX60. Um, I got both those as demo cars from Infiniti last year. But yeah, I think this is the first time um, for this QX50. So first off, it's actually very comfortable. Like seat comfort's amazing. These seats are fantastic. So uh, good job to Infinity on that. And that's something that Infinity does a really good job with. Um, some other luxury car automakers are not necessarily the best with seat comfort, but Infinity always seems to do really well with that. I um, mean, ride quality is actually also pretty rock solid with this as well. So it's smooth and its seats are comfortable. What more could you ask for? Um, also the heated steering wheel function definitely coming in clutch uh, right now because it's it's cold. I feel like Murray here in Utah is just like a cold sink. It seems like it's everywhere around this little area is nice and toasty, right? Closer to like mid thirties, whereas this, it's always just, it's always lower. Um, but yeah, going over bumps and everything, really good with the suspension. And let's see, going over the train tracks here. Yeah. Pretty solid going over the train tracks too, actually. Good torque out of this powertrain. Um, I will talk about the CVT-ness in a little bit, um, but what I can tell you so far, the person's like, I give up. <laughs> they're supposed to be holding up that slow sign and they're like, yep, I'm done. I don't, I don't wanna hold it up anymore. <laughs> Just on the ground. Um, but anyways, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But over the train tracks, the suspension's very compliant. Okay, so I just put the drive mode into sport and there's actually a substantial difference like standard, sport. It instantly uh, does a, it doesn't have gears, so it doesn't do a technical downshift, but it kind of does a downshift in the sense that RPMs go higher, right? Because it transitions, so that's pretty interesting. I like the handling on this too. It actually handles really well. So it's comfortable and it handles well. It's it's kind of got that like sporty feel that you get from something like a BMW, for example. But let's see how this VC turbo performs. So I'm gonna go in the manual function just to show you guys. Look how quick the transitions are. Yes, it is a CVT. Yes, you can feel that it is a CVT. However, that is, this is one of the like smoothest shifting 
most responsive CBTs. I mean, yeah, this has to be. That's amazing. Like, it's honestly like if you take someone from like 2010 and you throw them in this, they're gonna think that this is not only not a CBT, but they're gonna be like, this is the best automatic transmission I have ever experienced in my life. Now, obviously, compared to like, you know, Infinity's uh, and Nissan's nine speed automatic, this isn't as good. But, you know, I mean, it's for a CVT, this is really freaking good. So, summing things up, I think this looks really cool. Um, interior's super funky, but I love it. Like, I don't know, it, it feels special. Spe like, I mean, seriously, you go buy like a German luxury car and you just get black on top of black. Like, this has some flair to it. <laughs> seriously, it's so cool. Um, and then how it, it drives really well. Yes, you can still feel that it's a CVT, but it's so responsive, it's so quick with the transitions that it's as good as most modern automatics. Now, you know, some dual clutches and some really, really quick shifting, you know, automatics, uh, torque converter automatics are slightly better than this, but like, it's it's really solid. So what I'd say is go and drive one of these before you just back out because, oh, CVT, right? And that's what I noticed. A lot of journalism outlets will be like, oh, it's CVT. But it's like, have you actually driven it? I feel like a lot of these journalists talk about cars they haven't even driven. So drive one and then decide. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this QX50. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Tim Daly Infinity here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this QX50. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask for Cam if you have any questions. I'll see you.